In most high-income countries, women live longer than men, but generally have poorer health. This is because they suffer more from chronic illnesses, including arthrosis, muscular pain, or depression. Gender inequalities in health are those differences in health status between men and women that are related to gender socialization, to gender inequalities in access to resources and power, as well as to the different kinds of work that men and women perform both at home and outside home in the labor market. Governments are responsible for promoting family policies as well as where family balance policies, but not only family policies, but also policies added to the labor market in order to reduce the gender gap in salaries as well as to guarantee equal opportunities for men and women in the labor market. It's also important to promote more women in uh, positions of high political and economic responsibility as well as a more equitable use of time. The European project SOFI, which is coordinated by Barcelona Public Health Agency, has conducted two studies to evaluate the relationship between family policies in Europe and gender inequalities in health. European countries were classified according to their family policy model. In northern countries, the state provides many public services, and men and women share work within and outside home. In southern traditional countries, resources for families are limited, which means that women are in charge of caring for the family and have a secondary role in the labour market. Families generally enjoy better economic support in central traditional countries, although the distribution of work between men and women remains unequal. In market-oriented settings such as Anglo-Saxon countries, family care receives limited public resources and there is a strong male breadwinner model. Finally, in Eastern European countries, there are sufficient resources to enable women to have a significant participation in the labour market although they maintain all of the domestic responsibilities. In our first study, we analyzed inequalities in self-perceived health between men and women from different European countries and found that inequalities vary according to the family policy model of the country. In southern European countries, the probability of women of having poor health is 27% higher than that of men, it is 13% higher in central countries and 8% higher in Eastern countries, while there are no inequalities in the rest of typologies. This could be due to the fact that in traditional countries, mainly the Southern, there are few public services and support for the children and the elderly, so their care relies on the family, mainly women. In our second study, we focused on mental health. We analyzed inequalities in the mental well-being of wage earner men and women. Our results show that women have poorer mental health than men, and this difference is more marked in market-oriented and southern European countries than in other typologies. In a context of strong gender differences in the labor market and families that have to pay for the services they need, the burden of combining both work and family responsibilities could result in poorer mental health for women than men. These studies have found inequalities between men and women's health, with women having poorer health indicators. These inequalities could be reduced by adequate policies, such as an increase in the offer of public services for children and the elderly, equal pay and working conditions for men and women, as well as a greater presence of women in decision-making positions.